Hi, I'll be speaking today about our book, Africa's Knowledge Bridge, which was launched in 29 June 2024. The book is available for free from various libraries and databases. Yeah, my name is Uche Chukulivai Oswago. I'm a public health researcher and academic at Western Sydney University. My strong focus is on rural and indigenous health. I'm particularly interested in areas of diabetes prevention and management. I'm also the leader of various research initiatives, including the African Translational Research Group, which produced the book that I'm talking to you about today. Throughout my career, I've been deeply committed to ensuring equitable access to knowledge, particularly for those living in communities in the low and middle income countries. This passion for knowledge sharing is what brought us about the recent book, which I'm launching and talking to you about today. The COVID-19 pandemic underscored the importance of having accessible, reliable information, particularly in African countries where the pandemic's impact was profound. But often this has been underrepresented. Our research group had, had produced a significant body of work on COVID-19 and we thought it was important to make that knowledge freely available to a broader audience. By publishing the Africa's Knowledge Bridge as an open book, we aimed to bridge the gap between research and communities, allowing students, healthcare professionals, and policymakers to assess valuable insights without financial barriers. That really was the motivation for the book we are presenting today. Yeah, this was my first time publishing an open textbook, and the experience was both challenging and rewarding. One of the most important lessons I learned during this process was the value of collaboration. Bridging, bringing together a diverse group of researchers, health experts, and editors required effective coordination, but it also enriched the content immensely. I also realized how crucial it was to ensure that the language and format of presentation of this book was accessible to a non-specialist audience, making the work more impactful for a, brighter, for a wider range and a broader range of readers. Yes, I would encourage anyone interested in publishing an open textbook to take the leap. The open access model is in alignment with the core mission of higher education, to share knowledge freely and equitably. Western Sydney University provides this excellent platform and support to enhance such initiatives. And the process that we went through fostered collaboration and innovation. It's an opportunity to contribute to your field while also democratizing access to knowledge for those who may not have the financial means to access traditional textbooks or online databases, sometimes which requires payment. Now, my advice would be to start with a clearer vision of your audience and purpose. Make sure your content is engaging, is accessible, and relevant to your target readers, whether they are students, healthcare professionals, or the public. Now, collaboration is key to the work that we've done, and I encourage that with everyone intending to take this leap. We collaborated with experts across disciplines to enhance the richness of our content. So I think that's the best way to go. Lastly, take advantage of the support and resources available at Western Library. Now, this could also be available in your own school if you're listening to me from a different institution. The library and the publishing team were incredibly helpful during this process. They guided us through every step of the process, including giving us access to various platforms like the WAS uh, platform today. <music>